اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ولو انہا کتبنا علیہم ان اقتلو انفسکم and had we made it compulsory for them now this is again a litmus test and let we test ourselves also weigh ourselves also on this very criterion لو انہا کتبنا علیہم ان اقتلو انفسکم had we made it compulsory obligatory upon them to slay themselves, to kill themselves. Abhi khurju min de aarekum. Or we had commanded them to go out from their homes. Now these two things. Kill themselves means going to war. Because whenever you go to war to a battle, you are risking your life. Maybe you come back, maybe you are gone. gone. So what does this mean is qital. Had we made qital compulsory for them, and had we made hijrah compulsory for them. Akhuju min al-fusikum. What does it mean? Hijrah. Because this hijrah was not compulsory for the people of Madina. Madina was Darul Hijrah itself. People were coming to Madina. And the people who accepted Islam in Madina, they, they didn't have to make any hijrah. So that is actually concerning the munafiqeen of Madina. Walau anna katabna alayhim. And take it also. That... The, this going to war was not made compulsory. It was not necessary, compulsory, obligatory for every Muslim. Except for the last, you know, Ghazwatu Tabuk, the battle of Tabuk only. Before that it was all persuasion. Go. No. Try to get the paradise. Try to get the pleasure of Allah. Go and, and fight for the cause of Allah. But it was not compulsory for everybody. Had we made it compulsory, walau anna katabna alayhi man iqtulu anfusakum, abhi khurju min diyarikum, ma faalu ho illa qalilum minhum. These munafiqin of Madinah would not have complied with our command, except only a few among them. Now here also we must judge ourselves. If such a command comes to us, just suppose, are we ready to comply with it? وَلَوْ أَنَّهُمْ فَعَلُوا مَا يُعْضُونَ And if they had complied with it, if they had acted according to the commands, لَكَانَ خَيْرَ اللَّهُمْ وَأَشَدَّ تَسْبِيتًا This would have been much better for them and most effective in strengthening their characters. تَسْبِيت سَبَات وَإِذَا لَا تَيْنَاهُمْ إِلَّا دُنَّا عَجْرًا عَظِيمًا And we would have given them in that case a very big reward. And then we would have guided them to the right path. If had we made it compulsory and had they complied with those compulsions, then all these fruits they could get. But Allah knows that only accepting only a few of them, they will not be able to comply with it. Because this is the basis of their nifaq. They are not going to pledge themselves and all what belongs to them wholly and solely for Allah and His Messenger and His Deen. That is actual nifaq. Now the last ayah in this respect. Very important, very beautiful. You know there was a, there was a mode of warning and now persuasion. Both things go side by side. Targheeb and Tarheeb. Warning on the one side, if you don't do it, well, this is the result. And also persuasion, if you do it, that will be the reward. So now the ayah of persuasion. وَمَنْ يُطِعِ اللَّهُ وَالرَّسُولُ فَأُولَٰئِكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ عَنَعْمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ مِنَ النَّبِيِّينَ وَالصِّدِّقِينَ وَالشُّهَدَاءِ وَالصَّالِحِينَ وَحَسُنَ أُولَٰئِكَ رَفِيقًا ذَلِكَ الْفَضْلُ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَكَفَى بِاللَّهِ عَلِيمًا Whosoever obeys Allah and the messenger of Allah. He will have the company of those on whom Allah has bestowed his favors. Who are they? The Anbiya, an nabiyin the Siddiqeen, the Shuhada, and the Salihin. We know who is a Nabi. We know who is a Salih. Baseline, is Salihin. Topmost position, Ambiya. Now what are these two intervening conditions and sta states or levels or degrees? Who is the Siddiq? 
a person who has the purest nature and sound intellect and understanding so that when the dawah towards deen is placed before him he jumps at it accepts it instantaneously without any hesitation because he himself was pure of heart his nature was pure his intellect was sound if you can keep before us the example of abu bakr as siddiq radhiyallahu ta'ala an the prophet himself says before whom so ever i placed my dawa he hesitated all them hesitated for short or long period except abu bakr he never hesitated even a moment siddiq the true one and he does and he goes forward for tasdeeq and who are the shuhada their intellect might not be so high their nature might have been somewhat polluted but they are active people very active strong they work and in the modern psychological terms you may call them the extroverts the introverts and extroverts they are the extroverts they are always busy they are talking they are fighting or so on these people take some time to understand the dawa of deen it took umar radhiyallahu ta'ala no 6 years it took hazrat hamza 6 years hamza so close to muhammad real uncle so many relations a friend from the very early childhood they were brothers in suckling also razai brothers but he waited he never thought about what 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 my this nephew is saying what is he saying he always used to go out hunting so he was not very much attentive to what muhammad was saying otherwise there was no enmity in his heart towards muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but these people when they embrace islam they come to the forefront when umar embraced islam then the muslims they had the courage to pray in the courtyard of kaaba openly so these are two categories so in practical work in the practical assistance to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the shuhada become more important but you know people who jump at that dawa to accept it without any hesitation they are the siddiqin and these are the shuhada and shuhada doesn't mean only the person who dies in the way of allah all anbiya are shaheed all the rasuls are shaheed shaheedan alaykum actually this shaheed has a different connotation in the quranic context in our general usage shaheed means one who has been killed in the way of allah who had laid down his life fighting for the cause of allah but in qurani context shaheed means something else we are all shuhada lillah ya ayyuhalladhina amanu kunu qawwamin bil qist shuhada lillah you must become witnesses unto allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this shaheed witness they become witnesses to of humanity and mankind so now these are the four grades salihin shuhada siddiqin and anbiya you will have the company and how best this company is wa hasuna ulai ka rafiqa very beautiful very exalted company whosoever has this company this is this is persuasion but what are the conditions to have this company you can join this party but how may you tell allah our rasul the same thing at you allah what you rasul so this is the last ayah on this subject and most profound wa may you tell allah our rasul fa ulaika ma allazina anama allah alayhim min an-nabiyyin wa as-siddiqin wa as-shuhada wa as-salihin wa hasuna ulaika rafiqa zalika al-fadlu bi allah and whosoever attains this position on who on him it is the grace of allah 
یو کین ہیو دس اونلی تھرو دی گریس آف اللہ سبحان و تعالی و کفا باللہ علیما اینڈ اللہ از سفیشینٹ ان نالج ہی نوز ہو از وردی آف دس گریس اللہ یو نو ڈزنٹ گیو دس گریس ٹو ایوری بڈی ہی نوز ہو از وردی آف اٹ 